I wasn't trying to get a boob out at the pool. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing all of the makeup, hair care and skincare and etc that I took with me on my family holiday recently. Me and my family went away for the half, for the half term and I wanted to share with you everything I took. I'm always asked what do you wear, what do you take with you on holiday when you travel etc. So I thought rather than unpacking it, let's put that off for a few more days and I'm going to share all of the tea on what I took with me, you see. And not only that, I'm also gonna be sharing the couple of purchases that I made in Duty Free while I picked up from the airport, because who doesn't love a little nosy, little rummage through people's bags? I know I do. Is it just me? So I took with me three little wash bags or whatever you would like to call them. My Laura Mercier makeup bag that I always travel in. This is literally just makeup in here. Then I took this Sigma brush envelope, like, pencil case type situation that has the Sigma brushes in and some other stuff. And then this is like my toiletries, all of my kind of other stuff, skincare, hair care, perfume, etc. So let's start off with that one. This travel case, by the way, this wash bag was um, from NARS. It was, I did receive it in PR, so I'm not sure if you actually can buy it, but my foundations came in here. So it is the perfect size is what I found. Now don't look too closely at this because, oh, <laughs> as you can tell, I haven't washed it yet, but that is, this is my uh, makeup removing cloth. So that is what I took, like my flannel. It's the Magnetone one, I talked about this in a monthly favourites recently. I love it, it's just perfect for getting like every last scrap of makeup off. So that went in there. I take very, very minimal skincare on holiday with me. I'm not trying to take like my eight step normal routine with me when I go away for a week. I just like to strip it back to the absolute bare minimal essentials of essentially moisturizer. But there are a couple of times where I wore makeup when we went out for dinner, and therefore I did have to take something to take my makeup off. So the only thing I took was this little mini cleanse off oil from MAC, which I got as like a sample, and it's nearly all gone now, which is sad, but this was more than enough to remove my makeup twice, and then just finish off with this disgusting, filthy cloth. I should have like washed that before showing you, but I legitimately haven't unpacked. I just put everything in here and saved it to share with you, so that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Now, I did take a load of like body SPF, both for myself and my children, which is not in here, because obviously I put that in my husband's suitcase, because that's really heavy. So, and also we used it all up, so it's not here to show you. But as far as my facial SPF, I used this Shiseido Expert Sun Protector Face and Body Lotion SPF 50 the entire time I was on holiday and I love it. It's so nice. It has the best fragrance I've ever smelled in a facial SPF. It was so nice, light, hydrating, never balled up, never caused me an issue, easy to reapply. It's almost all gone now, but I really, really liked this. This is all I had as far as on my face SPF and it was, yeah, did the trick. Kept my melasma at bay, which is always a good sign when it comes to facial SPF as to whether it's doing its job or not. My melasma did not get out of control. I've barely any sign of any color on my face versus my bod, so yeah. I love this one, an absolute favorite. I also took this glow stick from Supergoop, which to be honest, it I really didn't use it. The only time this got used was on the day that the men went golfing and I forced them to take it with them just to do ears and backs of necks and noses, like as they went round to reapply. This is SPF 50. It didn't melt, so I'll give it that. But um, yeah, I, I really didn't feel like I needed it or used it much other than to try and force the men to take care of their noses. Really the only other skincare items I took was my moisturizer, which I chose to take the La Roche-Posay. This is their Tolerane Dermalogo Creme. 
I chose to take this one because it's so diddy because it's skinny and very easy to pack and doesn't take up a lot of room and it also has this like twist mechanism to sort of turn it on or off so I didn't feel like it was going to leak it was nice and small and this was lovely I really like this it's so light absorbs into the skin really nicely it doesn't have SPF so I was able to use it morning and evening so this was absolutely perfect exactly what I was reapplying it I was using it a lot and I really really enjoyed it it was perfect for travel I've nearly used the whole thing up it's quite small, 40 mil, but it's nice and small, perfect for travel. Really, the only other skincare item I took is the La Roche-Posay Sick Plus Balm. So this is actually like for a, it's a soothing repairing balm and it's typically used for if you have damaged your skin barrier, it's like a repairing cream repairing treatment or balm I took this I don't really know why I just whacked it in thinking oh you know maybe some there's uh, my skin gets a bit sensitive in the sun or anything like that I just took it for like emergencies and I almost used the entire thing not really on myself mostly on the children so we had three our two children and my sister's son were all with us all under 10 and they were in the pool like six hours a day I would say they barely got out and it was obviously a chlorine packed pool there were some serious chemicals in that pool and they definitely I mean my nephew has sensitive skin my two don't really but I mean that's enough to make anyone's skin sensitive so yeah my daughter and my son both got quite dry on their face so I was using this on them and it literally instantly repaired their skin like you could see their skin was like sore and very dry looking a bit red and inflamed literally put you know a decent layer of this on and overnight it was complete like they woke up with perfect skin again and it, it was literally miraculous so I didn't really use it on myself I also put this on my husband when he got a little bit of sunburn again because of the golfing and yeah, again, it worked miracles. So I was really glad. This was kind of like a throw it in. I don't really know why I'm taking it, but it was a, a treat. It was definitely a good idea to take that. It saves some faces, let me tell you. So of course, deodorant, you don't really need me to tell you about that. You know what that does. This is my favorite. It's the Shure Maximum Protection, my favorite deodorant. So yeah, that's enough about that, really. I did take both my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I well, I did briefly consider not taking them and just washing my hair before I went and trying to make it work, but I didn't really want to take dry shampoo or a lot of hair care or styling products, which I, I need once my hair goes past like day four or five so instead I just took my shampoo and conditioner uh, and thank goodness I did so I also took the number six Olaplex this is like the leave-in reparative styling creme so it's this I mean this was a hero product as well as the La Roche-Posay Cicloplast this was like my hero product of the holiday I used this on everybody I put it on my hair like during the day I put it on my hair after I'd showered after I'd been in the pool all day I was applying it constantly but also this saved my daughter's hair from being like hacked off by the end of the holiday because she was like she has very long quite fine hair and she was in and out, in and out, in and out the pool all day never drying it you know never brushing her hair oh my goodness that stuff was like an utter mess. The tangles in that hair, I've never seen the likes of it and I hope to never see it again. It was horrendous. And I hadn't taken her detangling spray that I usually use because I did not foresee this happening. I didn't know this was coming. And thank goodness that I had this stuff because I just worked a load of this through the lengths of her hair and it took from like her screaming blooming murder when I was trying to get the knots out to it being like, an easy going time and any hair you know her hair and my hair was getting a bit dry in the sun and also in and out the pool all of the time and this literally saved it it was it's a miracle product I was using it constantly all of the time for many different reasons and now I just pray I thank goodness that I decided to take it because I originally really didn't think I needed it 
we'd all be bored now if not for that. So the only other things I did take my Laneige lip mask, my lip sleeping mask, because my lips get ruined on holiday. I don't know about yours, but mine certainly do. Nail removing, nail removing? No, that's not right. I don't want my nails removed. Nail varnish removing pads. Just really easy. I don't want to take a liquid with me, but I did want to change my nails sort of halfway through the holiday. Of course, a razor, just a small little disposable razor, touch up the pits at the halfway mark you know i took one nail polish which is opi's cajun shrimp i mean you can see literally the perfect summer shade for hands and toes so that was the only nail polish i took as well as my the base and top coat to keep my nails in tip top condition then because i just had my brows um laminated before i left now you need to put oil what kind of oil is it castor oil castor oil on your brows every day after you've had them laminated, especially as I was going in hot weather and also in and out the swimming pool. So I bought these little containers, these empty like mascara bottles from Amazon. I got a few of them and I decanted some of my large castor oil into here so that I could keep up my brow maintenance while I was away and they are genius. It really has a nice sort of plunger that scrapes the excess product off. So it was really, really nice. I was putting this on my brows day and night and they lived to see the end of the holiday. So I'm gonna keep doing this now because it's much easier than using the large bottle. Very, very cheap and perfect for that. Nail file, very unexciting, but it's in there. And then I took three fragrances with me. I used my Unique You travel bottles and travel sprays and little minis. So these are from Unique You, were like a sample site that I've done a couple of collaborations with in the past. This isn't one of them, by the way. I just used these while I was away. So they have these little bottles that are like a month's worth or a couple of months worth of fragrance and you also get these like travel cases so these are just what I always travel with because they're so handy but the fragrances I took were Anisio's Absolute Aphrodisiac which I, I like it, I do like it, but it's definitely not a purchase full bottle for me. It's just a like, not a love. I didn't really wear it that much. I also took Nishine's Arnie, which again, I love this at home, but I did find it a bit much for like the hot weather. Like it just was a little bit uh, too much, too heavy, too thick in the hot, in the, in the heat, it was just too much. I prefer this more so at home and more in the winter than I did on holiday. The one that really surprised me was Parfums de Mali's Oriana. This I couldn't stop using and I fell a bit in love with this perfume on holiday. It's just perfect for holiday. It's very light, it's sweet but fresh. And it's just, I found it per like summer perfect. Not my typical type of fragrance, but I might actually have to buy a full bottle of this now. I just fell in love with it while I was away. It was the only fragrance really that I took that I wanted to wear like every night. And yeah, I just really fell in love with it over the time. A fragrance that I kind of liked previously, but never considered buying the full bottle. And now, I think I'm gonna. So that was everything from like a skincare, body care, hair care, fragrance perspective. Now let's move on to the makeup. So this case from Sigma, this I got in PR and it was this case with a brush set inside. Now I put some extra things in here. This is my daughter's very cute dolphin hair uh, clip. And then I used this little Kirby grip case to put her hair elastics and Kirby grips in. That also fitted in there beauty blender that as you can probably tell I didn't end up using and then my daughter's butterfly hair accessories all fit in there as well as all of the brushes now this is one of like the things I'm most excited to talk to you about in this whole lot because this brush set I'd never used it prior to going on holiday but I just sort of looking at it thought you know what? I feel like that kind of is everything I need in a set so there is like a large sort of kabuki get off hair. So there's a large like kabuki liquid and cream brush and then there are four other brushes. So these two are like eyeshadow, there's like a flat brush and then a very small little diddy sort of blending brush and then you've got what could be you know for blush, bronzer, highlight, this powder brush, slight angle to it and then this sort of powder brush. So that is the set and let me tell you this was 
everything I needed. Traveled very, very nicely. Obviously in the case it comes with to keep them all together and safe in there. And it also would fit a few other bits as well, which is really handy. But this did everything. I only did my makeup twice while I was away, both like evenings that we went out for dinner. And I used this brush for foundation, concealer and cream bronzer and blush and then I used this brush to like set like use my setting powder under my eyes this one I used for blush and highlight and then these two are all I needed for my eyes I used this with some cream bronzer just in the crease and then to use like, any shimmer I just used this one as well as like my finger so I would highly recommend this little set to travel with I don't want to take my really really expensive natural hair brushes with me on holiday I get worried they're going to get damaged or lost or something like that but this set was literally perfect everything I needed and I was like from now on that's all I'm going to take whenever I travel because I just didn't I wasn't missing anything you know I do kind of quick and easy makeup when I'm traveling and I just didn't feel like I was missing anything or needed anything else while I was on the go so such a clever little set from Sigma. I was like really pleasantly surprised. So now for the makeup I took. Again, this was a PR little makeup case that I got from Laura Mercier. And it is the perfect size for me for travel. As you can see, I have my Sonia G um, makeup like brush cleansing cloth. And as again, you can see it's a disgrace. Oh, but one, I didn't really use that that much on holiday. I maybe used it a couple of times, but it also was really good just to kind of pad out the case and kind of cushion everything on the top. So it had like a kind of dual purpose. But this is all of the makeup that I took. I don't really take like my favorite makeup when I travel. So there are a couple of bits in here that I do love and they are my favorites because they won't, they're not the sort of product that can get damaged or smashed or anything. But typically how I decide what to take is that I take stuff that is not gonna get damaged, that if my whole case got stolen or lost, there'd be no disastrous things I am obsessed with that I can't get again, anything limited edition. I also don't take anything that I think will break e very easily. So yeah, I do lean towards cream products, which may surprise you because I'm not really a cream girl, but it's not because I love creams or they're my favorite products to use. It's just because obviously they're safer to travel with than powders. So I took my Charlotte Tilbury primer. This is the Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. I have a review of this. I had a few people ask me what my thoughts were on it. I reviewed this when it came out. It's been out quite a while here in the UK. It has SPF 50 in it. So that was the main reason why I wanted to take this one. Also a squeezy tube rather than a glass or plastic bottle like some of my other primers. So I felt like it was safer to travel with and it also gave me that extra SPF when I was going out in the evening. So I felt like that was a good choice. It's also very nice and hydrating, which you quite often want when you're going out at night and it's hot weather and your skin may be getting a bit dry. It was perfect. The foundation I chose to travel with with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. One, because it's quite a natural and you can apply quite a nice light amount of coverage. Two, again, squeezy tube and not a glass bottle so a bit less scary to travel with also I took the shade 7n which I knew I could use like at the beginning or the end of the holiday I can make it work either way so it was just a good shade and also a nice travel friendly tube or package because it's not going to smash or break. Although this Pat McGrath concealer is a glass bottle, so typically I wouldn't have chosen it, but I just can't use any other concealer because it's my favorite. So I thought I'd take the risk. Now, I didn't want to take my Pat McGrath under eye powder because that I definitely feel like it would it would crumble and smash and that would be sad and a huge mess. So I decided to take the Hourglass Loose Powder just because I had a mini of it. It's not one of my favorite powders, but I'm not really trying to like wear my absolute best makeup on holiday. I'm just trying to do something, a little something, and not have a big mess and a big smashed, horrendous disaster in my makeup bag. So I took this one. It reminded me why I didn't really like it. Concealer just didn't look anywhere near as good as it does when I set with my Pat McGrath, but you know, it did the job. And no one was really looking that closely at my under eyes anyway. The only bronzer I took was my new Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. I took the shade medium and I fell even more in love with this bad boy while I was away. I, you know, I only did my makeup, as I said, twice. I used this 
in the crease for my eyes as well as on my face. Of course, this was a safer choice than any sort of powder bronzer because it's a cream. So, and it's also quite nice and flat and compact. Doesn't take up a lot of room, but it has a large mirror that stands up on its own. So this is what I used as my mirror while I was doing my makeup. So again, a very good choice for travel. I also took one of my little Charlotte Tilbury travel the five minute makeup kits. I did swap around what was in here. So I took the golden glow highlight, the pretty fresh lip and cheek stick and the pretty fresh eyes. The only, th oh no, I didn't, I didn't use the eye stick actually in the end, but I did use the blush and also the highlight stick. One of the times that I did my makeup, as I said, I only did it twice, but yeah, it's very, very handy for travel. Again, like I've said before, and everyone keeps saying, I wish this was a bronzer instead of the eyeshadow stick, or that you could just swap them around and I could have taken a couple, but you know, obviously travel very easily, very nicely, very compact, and nothing in there was gonna smash or crumble. Then I took my Westman Atelier uh, Peau de Peche highlight. You guys know this is broken. The mirror in here like fell out on the like first time I used it, but being a cream product, being a cream highlighter, I thought it was just a good choice and a good option because it gives him a bit of color and it's quite bronzy, as well as just being a nice natural glow and a nice highlight, again, Traveling with a powder highlight made me a little nervous because I feel like they're going to crumble and smash quite easily. And I have a lot of limited edition highlights as well. Whereas that was one I felt like, you know, it's a cream, it's already broken. So, you know, it was a safe bet. The only eyeshadows I took was one of the Stila cream or liquid glitter and glow shadows. Who remembers these? Who remembers these? I bought a new one of these recently because I saw someone using it and I was reminded how lovely these are and perfect for holiday. One, because they just do everything you need it to do. This shade is Bronzed Bell, by the way, and it's so pretty. It's just, I literally would do a little bit of bronzer in the crease and then whack this all over the lid and run it under my lower lash line. And it's just so glittery and pretty, but it did also remind me that the reason I stopped using them was because it glitter, the glitter gets flipping everywhere. When you take your makeup off at the end of the night, glitter all over your whole face and your pillow and in your hair and on your clothes for the rest of your life. So that was maybe a mistake. I also took one of my Victoria Beckham single shadows, this is the shade Chiffon, and this was a win for me. Like I was pretty much happy doing a bit of cream bronzer in my crease and then this tapped all over the lid and I just thought it was beautiful. So pretty, perfect for holiday, very quick and easy and simple. And it being a pot, although it is a powder, it's a single, so you know, if it had got smushed or smashed or crumbled, it would be quite easy to, compact it back into one and it's only one shadow a whole palette hasn't been destroyed you know but that was definitely a good take a good inclusion I would say the only other cheek products I took were my rare beauty blush again I like this as far as a liquid blush goes but it's certainly not one of my favorite blushes but again compared to like any of my powders it's a safer bet because it's a cream or it's a liquid it's not going to smash and you only need a tiny bit and I actually really liked using this I thought it looked really pretty you need a tiny amount and it gives a lovely nice glow to the skin and this was just perfect holiday makeup I felt I did risk one powder product though and it was my grapefruit blush from Laura Mercier I mean I just felt like I couldn't not take it I mean look at it look at it that is not like the holiday blush of dreams I don't know what is and I had no regrets because it was fine it survived it survived the whole double journey. So, you know, maybe I should be a bit braver or maybe not, maybe not. Of course, I took my Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I took my Huda Beauty brow pencil, although I never used this actually as to apply brow pencil lines. I really just used this for the spoolie. My brows had just been laminated and tinted, so I didn't need to actually add any color. It just, I literally used it for the brush. And then for lips, I took both of my Suku lipsticks. These are the Color Riche, I believe they are called. Incorrect. The Moisture Rich lipsticks that I reviewed in my Summer Suku 
review. I just think these are just literally not only perfect for holiday and travel, but just spring and summer in general. These were the two. I don't think I put the, I used the other lipsticks. These were the two that I wore on the two nights. They're both just so fresh, juicy, hydrating, perfect for summer, perfect for holiday and I loved them. I did take my one of my Chanel Double to New lipsticks because I thought, I don't know what I thought, maybe if I fancied a nude, this is one that's obviously bulletproof and it's not going to come off if we go out for dinner. But at the end of the day, I just felt like having, you know, some nice, moisturized, hydrated, juicy lips. So I, I actually never used that one. I also took my Hourglass Trace, which was a mistake. I meant to take Lucid. This is the nude shade. I meant to take the uh, peachy shade, but obviously I was packing in a hurry and I mixed them up. So I didn't use this because I was just not in the mood for a nude, you know? I was on holiday. I wanted all the peachy, corally goodness. So there you have it. That is everything that I took with me as far as makeup, skincare, hair care, perfume, etc. So now I thought I'd show you everything I got in duty free. Why not have a little nosy? Now, as far as makeup, there was only one thing that I wanted to pick up. I kind of had a little nosy around duty free, but as you probably can tell, or probably can guess, I don't really like need anything that's in duty free. I've, I buy the makeup as it comes along. So there's nothing there that I couldn't have bought already or that I waited for to get in duty free because typically I need to buy products and review them. So I don't really buy a lot of makeup usually in duty free just because I already own the makeup that I want. And I'm not really in the business of buying makeup just because it's slightly cheaper in duty free. Cause actually, is it just me or is it not really that much cheaper? But what I discovered is that you can pre-order and save even more money at Heathrow. So like we flew from Heathrow and there they have like a pre-order shopping service. If there's something that you want, you know what it is, then you can pre-order it and collect it when you fly. And that saved me an extra seven pounds. So what I got is the Sisley bronzer. I've had so many of you telling me I need to try this recently. So I thought, well, why not get it in duty free and save a few pounds? I saved a lot more than I thought. Here, this is like 80 pounds when it's full price and I got it for 60. It was 67 in store when I pre, cause I could pre ordered it, I saved an extra seven pounds and I haven't used it yet. So I can't tell you what I think of it, but this is the only thing makeup wise that I got in duty free. What I will say is I was surprised at how light it felt, but again, it survived. It flew there and back with me. I didn't use it because I don't know why. I didn't want to touch it until I was home, but yeah, I'm excited to try this. I've had many of you, recommend this to me as being like the ultimate natural glowy bronzer. So I'm excited to try it. Now it's been like three years since I went on holiday and I felt like I needed an, a new swimming costume or swimsuit. I had a few bikinis, but they're all really old. And I was a bit nervous about like whether they would just fall off me or be completely see-through. So I wanted to buy a new cosy and I got this one from Ted Baker and it was so nice it's so comfy and beautiful and it's just got these lovely cute cutouts i find it found it really flattering and comfortable to wear and i absolutely loved it it's like a halter halter neck basically so it goes like this you can see it's got these little cutouts not like so revealing that i felt uncomfortable obviously i was on holiday with like my parents so you know i wasn't trying to get a boob out at the pool but you know it was pretty it was nice and it was fun without being like you know a bit much i also got a couple of scrunchies this one i'm not really that bothered about this one has ears and these have wire in so you can stand them up and it's the cutest thing with like a messy bun. I pop this over the top of like whatever's holding my messy bun in place, usually a wing and a prayer. And then I just plop this over the top and it's just the cutest thing ever. Obviously it's not that exciting, but I wanted to share it, okay? And then I got some new sunglasses. I purchased some Tom Ford sunglasses before I went on holiday and I was too scared to even take them because they were like expensive and just, you know, they're showy sunglasses as opposed to practical everyday throw in your handbag, go to the beach type sunglasses. So I wanted to buy some like sort of not cheap because I, any cheap sunglasses will last me three minutes and then they'll be broken. I'll have sat on them or lost them. I need to buy a certain amount. I need to spend a certain amount of money on sunglasses or they just break every single time because I don't take enough care of them if there's not more money at stake. That's what I've learned about me. 
So I wanted to buy some sunglasses. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them given that I just bought some really nice new Tom Ford ones, but I also wanted to buy some sunglasses that were nice that I could wear every day that was super dark that I could wear at the pool and not be like crying if they got a little bit scratched. So I found these Ted Baker ones. I think in duty free, they were something like 50 pounds and they're just nice everyday throw in your handbag driving sunglasses really super dark really clear nice size that they protect your eyes and my eyebrows which is very important on this holiday and just really flattering and easy to wear they also came with like a nice little case so i felt like they were protected i could travel with them have them on my in my hand luggage or actually tell a lie my husband's hand luggage because i don't like lugging a big bag around when he could do it for me you know but they came in this cute little case and yeah, I was really happy with them. They did the job and I could leave my you know, very expensive Tom Ford ones in the drawer where they will stay probably forever not being worn. So there you have it. That is everything that I took on my holidays with me. I hope this is helpful and it gives you some ideas if you're packing or going on a trip or you're going away and you're not really sure what to take. I really don't wear a lot of makeup on holiday. I think, you know, we were there for a week and I wore makeup twice, both times just when we went out for dinner and it was very light, quick and easy. And that's kind of how I like to keep it on holiday. For me, it's just about, you know, taking 10 minutes to feel a bit more glam and yeah, pretty easy going. Doesn't need to be long wearing, doesn't need to be especially holding up to the heat because, you know, it's nighttime, so it's not that hot anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.